this is the third book review that I've done in a row. With the last two videos that I've done, um, I will put cards up um, up somewhere if you haven't watched those yet or if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, let me know about these um, book review formats if you like it or if you don't like it. Or maybe something that you want me to include in my book reviews. Alright. So with that getting out of the way, or with that out of the way, we are going to review my first audiobook that I listened to in 2024, which is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. And in my video of my 2024 book recommendations, um, I had no idea how to say the main character's name. Pippa? Pippa? It's actually Pippa Fitzimobi. Yeah. Um, but basically this is a fictional murder mystery book. Um, quick summary, Pippa is a senior in high school and she decides for her capstone project that she is going to investigate a murder that happened several years before she became a senior. Um, usually I'm not really into fiction and murder mysteries, but apparently my friends are. Um, but now I'm actually starting to get into the swing of things as far as murder mysteries. It's really thrilling. Um, but I will say that I'm also a terrible person as far as suspense and thrillers because I didn't wait until the end to figure out who killed who. I looked it up. But regardless of that, I know who killed who, but I don't know how they did it. And there were a lot of plot twists in the book that I really, really liked. So kudos to the author about that. Um, but what I find a little bit troubling um, is the way that um, they portrayed the police. Like, oh, they didn't really care. Or it was kind of like a quick case closing on a murder um, situation. I feel like even if the suspect is, the murder suspect is deceased, I feel like they still do a thorough investigation instead of like, well, he confessed and he's dead. So he can't really vouch for himself. So yeah. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to give a lot of spoilers and stuff like that. But that's the summary. That was kind of like the thing that I didn't really like. Because I'm like, well, I I don't think that the police would do that. But at the same time, that's not my profession. So I'm not too sure. Like, does that actually happen? I, I mean, yeah. And then what like terrified me is that there was a lot of situations where Pippa, or the main character, put herself in, and I'm just like, oh my god. I do know that the book is part of a three-part series. The next book is called um, Good Girl, Bad Blood, where it kind of takes her into her college years. Um, I am already on the wait list for that book at the library, so hopefully as soon as that comes out, I will go ahead and read that. The reason why I'm not listening to that on an audiobook is because it's not free on Spotify. And I like free. I don't want to pay additional stuff to Spotify. Another thing that I really, really liked about this book is that it kind of does some subtle, subtle nods to cultural diversity. So kudos to Holly Jackson's for doing that. Also, I didn't realize that young adults was 18 to 26 year olds. I thought young adults were like teenagers, like 13 to 18. Which, I mean, that's that's a whole category in itself. Like, I'm dumb. Sorry. But overall, um, I really like that book. Hopefully, the next book is going to be the same way. But um, I will let you know with the next book review after I finish it. If you have read this book or listened to it on audiobook, let me know what your thoughts and opinions were in the comment section below. And as always, if you have a book recommendation for me, drop that down and I will do my best to try to listen to it on audiobook or read it. Um, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!